Hello and welcome. So I have this question here and it says use the following formula and steps to determine the magnetic bearing from the benchmark in block D5 to trigonometric bay con 93 in block C4. And you are given a formula which is magnetic declination plus true bearing. And your information is given as follows, which is the information from the map. The mean magnetic declination is 24 degrees, 26 minutes west of true north. And the date of the map, date of the map is 2016. Mean annual change is 9 minutes west, westwards. So let's work this out. Before we work this out, please note that most of you are confusing the date of the map and the date of the annual change which was recorded which is 2016 and 2017 you must ignore those dates um, of annual change the only that date that we are focused on is the 2016 date which is the date of the map and mind you in your question you are not given which year you should use to calculate your your magnetic bearing so when you calculate magnetic declination you need to assume that you must use the current year which you are in so in this case we are in 2025 so we are going to use the current year which is 2025 so let's work it out so the first step is calculating difference in years and i'm going to say 2025 minus 2016 so this is the current year and this is the year of the map so the answer would be nine nine years and then we move to the to b so b we must find the total annual change so the mean annual change is nine nine minutes west and then for c is total annual change total on our change and how do we find that we say that nine minutes worst time is nine years and we know this is west so our answer will be in west so nine times nine nine is 81 so this is 81 Westwards. So for D, we must calculate the total magnetic declination. So they just wrote magnetic declination there. Why do we say the total magnetic declination? It's because they did not say the mean magnetic declination like at B. So if they had said we must write the mean magnetic declination, we would have written as that. But they said we must find the magnetic declination. So we assume that they want the total magnetic declination so in finding that we're going to say the mean magnetic declination which is 24 degrees 20, 26 minutes west plus because the, uh, the, uh, the directions are the same we're going to say plus 81 81 minutes which is of westward as well so further um working this out we say 24 degrees because minutes must add the minutes so we're going to say 81 plus 26 81 plus 26 equals 207 minutes of westward so this is not our final answer if you have watched my previous videos on my uh, magnetic declination on finding magnetic declination we know that um, if you have the minutes which are greater than 60 you minus minus 60 and add a degree um, into your magnetic declination to reduce um, your minutes so in this case we're going to say 107 minus 60 so 107 minus 60 equals to 47 so that one degree remember we said that one degree equals to 60 minutes so that degree or that six, uh, 60 minutes that we 
subtracted from 107, we add a degree um, to to our magnetic declination. So this will give us 25 degrees, 47 minutes to my west. And this is our total magnetic. So for E, they require they require true bearing because this question is digital i'm going to assume my true bearing as 100 and 160 degrees so finding the total magnetic bearing which is f total magnetic bearing remember you are given a formula so because we have calculated our magnetic declination <coughs> which is 25 degrees for the seven minutes we're just gonna take it as east and say 25 degrees for the seven minutes to my worst plus true bearing true bearing which is 160 degrees so in total we're going to add degrees to a degrees so when you add this, we say 25 plus 160 gives us 185. So this is this will be 185 degrees 47 47 minutes, and we don't need direction to our magnetic theory. So that's how you would answer. The last question, which is 3.1.4, says what is why is it important to calculate the current magnetic declination? You have two answers to this. Number one, it's because um, it changes over time. So it changes yearly. And then the second part you can say, or the second point you can say that it's because you would want to calculate um, the accurate or the correct magnetic bearing as it it's uh, as the question says why is it important to calculate the current magnetic declination it changes over time and uh, number two or the second point you can say that um you can say that um the reason is to calculate the correct or the accurate magnetic bearing so that's that's that about this question please don't forget to like share subscribe and comment see you in the next one